Go ahead. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you know from the title, this video is just going to be me giving you a few tips on how to make your husband feel appreciated. That's because right. Yes, ladies, they need to feel appreciated. And if you want them to do better, best believe some of these tips are gonna help. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. If it works, let me know. If you appreciate some of these tips, let me know as well. So tip number one is make sure everything on the home front is sorted. Don't worry your husband, your partner, your second half with petty things like, oh my gosh, babe, um, we need a new mop for the kitchen because the one we have is a bit dirty and a bit old and a bit raggedy. So yeah, if you don't mind just picking up a mop on your way home. No, he minds, don't, no. Girls, thumbs up this video if you know you've been pestering your husband or your man or your boyfriend or your second half, better half with little petty things. Like, let me know. I know that you're never gonna do it again because it is wrong. They don't like it. They don't appreciate it. These are the tiny things that don't allow a man to come home on time. And where they're saying, he don't come home on time. Why, why is he going to come home on time? <laughs> Anyways. So Pause it right here. I hope your sister took note. Some of y'all got scowls on your face. That is so true. What she said. We, been. do you like petty stuff from them? No. no. We out of the country. We getting phone calls. Now, I ain't going to say who. Yeah, right. But a particular, hey, I need some milk. I need this, I need, we in another country. Bruh, what the hell's going on here? He said, I left money for the woman. I don't know what the hell's wrong with her. <laughs> just go to, he's on the phone. Babe, just go to the store, get it. But I got kids at home, I'm gonna go to the store. What the hell is this? It's always a problem. We hate petty things. Now when a brother, you don't wanna come home on time. Why are you always out of country? Why are you going here? Why are you doing this? Because you nag too much. We don't like that. We don't like nagging. Now, watch this. Uh, read uh, 1 Timothy 5 and 14 for me. Watch this. This is for you young sisters. I know you don't like it, but we're going to read it to you anyway. This first, goes to what she just said. 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse she 14. She said, when your man comes home, make sure everything is sorted. You could tell she's from London. They use that word sorted. That means the house is clean and well. Go ahead. I will, therefore, that the younger woman marry, bear children, guide the house. What's some three words? Guide the house. That don't mean leave the house. That means take, make sure the house is sorted. When we come home, we don't want to see filth. Why is my sock, listen, why is my sock still in the middle? Because you didn't move it, nigga. Well, you've been here. I'm going to work. Pick the socks out. I'll tell you, sister, how men do. We don't come in and put things in a hand. That's not how we do. Right, men? Y'all know what I'm talking about. We come home, we strip down. And if the, the, if the underwear is wet and soggy, you might find them on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> you got to pull them things down. <laughs> Why are my drawers still up there on the ceiling? Anyway. Hey, Bishop, till this day, you got a lot of sisters complaining about that. You know, they're like, sure. yo, when the sure. husband come home, he just, he just throw his stuff down. Why I got to pick it up? Why I got to pick it? Why he can't pick it up? You still this day, you got sisters That's bugging That's those millennials. That. Those yeah. millennial girls. You know, he got to clean for himself. See uh, that? See, you see? know? Yep, it's true. S 100%. Till this day, we got sisters complaining. And I'm watching this. Like, yo, what the hell, man? You know, but anyways. So when y'all talking to a sister, these are things you want to ask. Does she like to clean? Does she keep a tidy home? If she got her own apartment, have a brother or sister visit. And they'll come back and say, that girl nasty. <laughs> she ain't ready to get married. Come on. Some of the brothers got their head down because they know they're married to that. Go ahead. Ladies, understand that your man has had a busy day and make sure that everything at home is sorted on his arrival. So if it's dinner, let dinner be ready. If it's his bath, let his bath be ready. If Pause it's... right there. You heard the dinner part, right? Give me that scripture about the, the, the death in the pot. In the... <laughs> Some sisters can't cook. Especially the millennial sisters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sisters that are, let me give an age, let me think. Uh, let's see, 30 and up can cook pretty much. 30 and down below generally cannot cook unless they grew up on the island. If they're from America, they don't know how to cook, I'm telling you right now. They're gonna, they're gonna make toast, that's it. 
burnt toast and yeah, burnt you, water. You, uh, uh, <laughs> you gonna be eating Mickey D's and Popeye's chicken all week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should l now with with all joke aside. Have you ever seen like a, a homosexual man trying to teach a woman how to walk? Yes. Then think about it. This is a sister that says that she's not a believer sister. But her tip, she went out. These are supposed to be uh, uh, sisters that's about this. The laws of God supposed to bring these things out. But they're not. They're complaining about these things, like Malachi just said. They're complaining about these things they're supposed to be doing. Because why? They despise the. They despise every laws that God set up. But now it's good to hurt it for for an unbeliever. Then let's see if you're gonna follow it. Exactly. Read that scripture. Where are we going? Second Kings chapter four. Second Kings chapter four and verse forty. And verse forty. So they poured out for the men to eat, and it came to pass as they were eating of the pottage that they cried out and said, "O thou man of God, there is." Death in the pot. See that? There's death in the pot. You eat that, you're going to die. And they could not eat thereof. And they could not eat there. Some sisters don't know how to cook. Now, I tell you the story all the time. I'm from the South. My wife's from the South. All she makes is Judah food. And you know what Judah food is? Grease, grease, grease. My arteries got clogged and clogged. I'm all hemmed up like this. <laughs> Doctor said, you better change your diet. All that greasy Judah, he didn't say Judah food, but I knew what he meant. All that greasy chicken, you know how Judah make food? Macaroni, and it gives you a ton of the macaroni's like this on the, bam! Macaroni everywhere. And it tastes good, it tastes good, but it's got so much in it, so you gotta change. So I said, hey, 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 I need something else. I want some, I like Benjamin food. I said, I want some Benjamin food. It's not as greasy. I don't know how to make Benjamin food. Well, you better learn! You go call Paul pa Yah. Go call Paul Young. You're going to go sit down with her and learn. Here's some money. she tell you it's true. I was sent over there every week to learn how to cook Benjamin food. Yeah, Me yeah. want curry goat. Me want jerk chicken. Yeah. I want rice and peas yeah, you and fish. Yo, you 11 tribes here that Benji get the best food, yo. <laughs> yo, yo stop it. Let's stop Benji, it. Yo, Benji get the best food, man. Where Angie at? Tell Angie that too, man. Stop it. Tell Angie that too. Benji stop get the best food. Bishop. Yo, yo. Y'all got to bring some Benji cook up in here too, man. <laughs> Levi yeah, makes the yo, best it's, food. It's, hey, it's a conspiracy going on in New York kitchen and it's be a Levi thing going on up there. I don't <laughs> like that. over the kitchen. You know? And, and then I said, you know what? I had to change. Then I said, I like Dominican food. I said, hey, y'all South's wife, Anna, you better learn some meals from her. Now, so now she worked my daughter be on YouTube all day trying to find meals. Okay, I can cook this. <laughs> hey, if you don't know how to cook, go to YouTube. They'll show you. Anything you want to know how to cook, sister, it's on YouTube. Anything you want to learn. Now, we right back here again. Come on. His clothes that he needs for, I don't know, tomorrow. Let it be ready, girls. Please, stop, sister, stop, stop right stop. there. Stop mouth. right there. Please. You women, let me tell you something. I got to say this thing. I want all y'all in the southern states to listen good. Because we be captains, captains, some of high, we be getting on some of y'all looking like bums. Your garments be wrinkled, your clothes be wrinkled, but you know whose fault it is? Your wife's fault. If you come out to camp and you a bum, it's your wife's fault. I'm going to tell you straight. She just said, have your man's clothes ready. My mama had my daddy's clothes ready. How do come I? this new generation, you got to do it yourself? I mean, know how to do it yourself in case, you know, she ain't around. But... In the end of the day, sh that's her job. <laughs> that's her job. And Bishop, you know how you know it's generational? Because remember them old school moms that would be like, you're not going outside looking like you're not my child. Right, exactly. <laughs> yep. They comb your hair, brush your teeth. That's right. Yeah, yeah man, then Bishop. Take even, the rollers out your hair, too. <laughs> even though, Bishop, they'll do it, they'll do it like, when they want to, to do it. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm not going to do it this week. I'm going to do it that week. I'm going to then, uh, then get mad about it. Right. You understand? Exactly. That's your job to exactly. make sure that men look decked out. That's your this, job. That's right. The Manilio, new Manilio woman that the bishop talking out want her husband to look like a bum because she don't want no woman in his face. There you go. You see, they, that's the, that's the <laughs> science behind it. But let me tell you, see, sister, these are tips. You don't have to follow these tips. You'll you be single the rest of your life. I'm just telling you. We give you Bible, it don't work on some of them. Yep. Now we give a sister who ain't in the truth, she giving you tips, it might not work either. Damn. 
So just get ready for your millennial uh, singleness till Christ come back. Lord, can I have a husband now? And the Lord going to say, no, you ain't ready yet. I got to wait another millennium. Yes. Till you learn these simple things. <laughs> hey, she got to wait till the regeneration. <laughs> <laughs> when she get her mind regenerated. Go ahead. Hey, it's sad I mean that you said that, Bishop, because in the regeneration, all this lip that the bishop is talking about, the woman ain't doing that in the kingdom. Why are the women not going to be uh, with that mouth that they have there? There will be no more 911. <laughs> okay? Thank There'll be know. no other ratchet Negro said that if she don't like you, she go be with a ratchet Negro. Right. You'll be put to death. Yeah. So all the options that she had not to listen to you will be gone. Yeah. Remember, there's a scripture that says that your own parents is going to bring judgment on you yeah. if you're rebellious. So all her options for her being this new millennial woman will be gone. Exactly. Yep. Roll the tape. Home to a messy house. That's just how does he know you appreciate him going out to work and sweating and stressing, and then he comes home and then it's like, oh, babe, you're gonna wash that dish. It's like, well, what have you been doing all day? And yes, we ladies now we go to work and everything, but girls, women, say whatever you like. It's always going to be. A duty of a woman. Thank you. To make sure. That Thank that you. There you go. Wait, pause it right there. Because you know the women are thinking, but I go to work. I go to work. It's still your job. Hey. You hey. can't change. Ain't no cross. What is it called? They want to cross uh, when they want your job to be her job. You right, know what I'm talking right. about? It ain't happening. What are you going to say? I, I was going to say the point she brought out early on when you come home, you eat and you put your dish in the sink, and she's going to ask you, you going to wash your dish? I mean, like, yo, hell no! <laughs> you just, you just, you just, co you can't wash your dish yourself. You get, come on, man! You know, so you just stop that. Exactly. You know, what I mean, you all home all day watching on Facebook, on doing nothing. Even if she works, she gotta come home. That's what she just yeah. said. Yep. Even if you work, you come home, you wash your dish. That's it. You know what I mean? Come on, where we at now? Now this is this is helping yeah. some of y'all. Some of y'all mad as hell. Some of y'all scared. And no 50-50, man. And no fit is scared in here. I don't know what to do now. She, she's going to hit me with a pot. <laughs> it's perfect and in order. So obviously, um, you know, I mean, if you want the rule of my money is my money and his money is our money to obviously stand, stand in court, you need to make sure that your house, your home is up to date and you're taking care of that and you are taking responsibility for that. If you're not and you're expecting those responsibilities to be shared between the two of you, then best believe your money is his money and um, his money as well and his money is also your money and his money. You understand? So basically women, just make sure the home, the home front and everything is perfectly fine. Trust me. So tip number three. Ladies, show your man appreciation with treats. Men like treats. They like to know that they are special. Give them back massages. Yeah, you stop, know? stop, stop, stop. Nice back massages. And rewind it again, please. Wild. Stop it and rewind it. Play it again, please. Stop it and rewind it. Trust me. So tip number three. Ladies, show your man appreciation with treats. Men like treats. They like to know that they are special. Give them back massages, you know? Nice little back massage with some essential oils, mm, smelling up that room, nice candle yeah. dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Thank, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Thumbs up thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, bro. And girls, it doesn't have to be anything major, anything expensive. It doesn't have to, you know, because we all know we like to keep our money. We need to keep it. We need to do our hair, our nails. I mean, there's a lot going on. So I'm not saying go out there and buy him something major. No. But keeping it simple with, you know, a candlelit dinner. And when I say candlelit dinner, I'm not saying a dinner for two at uh, a five-star Michelin star restaurant. No. It could just be in your house two little candles, light them up with your jollof rice. Yeah. It don't have to be anything big. See there? 
See? Well, you See, can even do a takeaway, but just set it up nicely. Make sure the kids are in bed. Make sure the staff are nowhere to be seen. Just, you know, set the mood. Just make him know that you have done something special just for him. You can tell she, stop. You know she's not from America. This is not the American woman. No, this is not. She's from Nigeria that grew up in London. I tell you, brothers, London. Yeah, yeah, Bishop, <laughs> Bishop, 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 listen, man. Where you find that? Where you find that? The, the Lord sent that to me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Where the hell you find that? <laughs> hey, Bishop, you know a lot this? of sisters all over the state is getting angry right now. They need you know to get angry. I mean? as they long get, as they change. A lot of them, right. a lot of the, uh, 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 the husband probably they're like, yeah, that's you right there. Yeah. You know, yeah, husband giving her the side eye like that, like, yeah, that's you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's you too. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly. Ladies, thumbs up if you're going to do this, ladies. Thank you. Tip number four. Women, pray for your men. Pray for him. Take his <laughs> hands, put your hands on his head, and pray for him. A direct prayer to him. You know, thank God for his life. Thank God for his safety. Ask God to protect him, to show him wow. the way, the right path. And trust me, women, your man is going to appreciate this. Even if he's not like the praying type and the go to church all the time, or, I mean, we, we're not even into a religious, but, you know, even if he's not that way inclined, but at least if he has, even if he doesn't have, I've, even if he doesn't have some sort of belief. She, but I, I mean, she's from Wakanda. Some sort of belief anyway. <laughs> praying for him, he's going to appreciate that because... Men do believe in God and higher powers and stuff like that, and they will appreciate that you're taking your time not just to pray for yourself, but to pray for him to do greatness. Yeah, and hold on, stop that tape. Stop, stop it for a minute. That, that woman in America pray the Lord that you, uh, you die. <laughs> yes, yeah, she's dead. She's dead. Hey, hey, his one sister, she prayed that God kill her husband so she could get so she could remarry. She said, Lord, yeah. I want you to kill my husband. <laughs> Good. Inspire him to do better, and he's gonna really appreciate that. And he's gonna be so happy and thankful. And he's gonna go out to work feeling like he can do it, like he is Superman. Because you prayed for him. Trust me, it works. But pray, obviously, be genuine with your prayer. Don't just be like praying because you know, but pray, be genuine. You know, God obviously hears our prayers. Tip number five. Tell your man, thank you. Even for the things he's obligated to do. Men are like big babies. I don't know how to put it. And I really don't want to compare them to dogs. I really don't. But you know when a dog does something good and you give him a little pet, you know, a little good doggy. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, how, you know, if any of you, those, if any of you that have pets or dogs, you understand. So when you give your man a little thank you, darling, it goes a long way. It doesn't go unnoticed. And well, she's saying that we want to feel appreciated. We are trying to. Thanks, babe. Thanks for doing that. Remember, she's a, she's a, she's not the truth. No, she, that's true. So don't take offense. But go ahead. To do more and to do better. And that's going to help them, I believe. Like I said, don't take my word for it. If you feel you can apply these tips, then do so. And thank me later. <laughs> and number six. This is not really a way of showing him you appreciate him. Uh, but more of a, women just don't do this. This is, just, just, just see this as a bonus tip. Um... Don't disturb your man, your husband, your whatever, with problems as soon as he has come through the door. Thank you! So Thank you! All praise to the Lord. Two thumbs up for that. <laughs> ...from work and you're like, oh, hi, babe. Nice to see you. Hug, hug. Oh, by the way, the kids need um, 20,000 naira, 100 pounds uh, for school tomorrow because they've got a trip. Oh, and basically, just so I don't forget, um, you need to go here and there tomorrow and make sure you call your mother. No, 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 no. Don't be disturbing them. Let them come in, let them rest, let them relax, let them be. 
and work out when the best time is when when's the best time to actually give your husband or partner um, a situation or a problem or something that he needs to kind of solve for example in my household it's in the morning for me it's at night like give me everything at night but with my husband it's in the morning so I can't disturb him at 8 o'clock or 9 30 or 10 o'clock at night uh, with situations it's gonna go through this ear and right back out of that ear and it's gonna irritate him and frustrate him and it's gonna just make him feel like oh my gosh what the hell am I doing listening to this but in the morning when he's ready to go he's ready for action he's ready to like yeah 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 if I give it all to him bam 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 he's like yeah good and nine times out of ten whatever it is I asked for gets done yeah winning winning don't we want to win ladies are you not tired of losing in the relationship we need to be winning 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 like i said can these you stop are just that can you stop it for a second you notice that i want you to pay attention to what she's saying then you notice in the end what did she said because to the wicked woman she's saying that why well, we have to do everything you notice that she said after you do all these things you're going to be the winning woman that mean that if you're not winning them you're not doing this right. That's what she's telling you. If you're not doing this for your husband, you're not going to win anything. You're not going to get anything. But there go the American woman. No, you got to do that. You got to do me before you can get it, before you get to do this. You, do that. You, know, you notice at the end she say, if you want to be a winning sister, you got to do, you have to follow this step. But a lot of y'all, you're complaining about your husband. Y'all ain't doing none of that. None of this you're complaining. But you're not doing none of that. Then how the hell you're not doing none of that? You expect yourself to be a winner. No, you're going to be a loser. These are just some of the things I've been doing. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate any single time you like, comment, and subscribe on my videos. Make sure you're doing more of that. And Thank you. Hey, find me the scripture that says, he that hateth being reproved hardness his neck. You know what I'm saying? There's a, it's, I ain't quoting it right. He that is often reproved hardens oh, his neck. Who got a concordance? Who can find that thing? Yeah, Often Bishop, reproved. Yes, Bishop, sir. can you send that thing to me? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Can you send it to me, sir? Proverbs 29 and what? And one. Read that, Proverbs 29 and one. Your single brothers, you'll need that tape. Yeah. I'm telling you, you'll need that thing. Lock it in your phone. You need to lock it in, in your phone. Yeah, when you're caught in a sister, yep. show her the video. That's right. That video. And see what she says to it about it. Mm -hmm. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 1. He that being often reproved hardeneth his neck. That's going to be that sister that's single till the millennium comes. Now you will see the true men of God. We are not black men. We are Israelites. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us.
more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.